Interesting facts about wild reindeer and modern reindeer farm. 8 million of reindeer. At the time, reindeer are the only animals herded domestically. Naturally, they have possession of the North. A piece of research shows that there are nine countries where reindeer herding is common, including Canada, Norway, and Finland. A small flock is also set in Scotland. Around the circumpolar North, there are approximately 100,000 people who are engaged in reindeer herding. Modern archaeological data tells that the domestication of reindeer may have started for the first time in the Sayon Hills. This is situated now between Russia and Mongolia and might be two to 3,000 years ago. At the end of the last ice age, people brought the reindeer to the north. By the way, another theory also survives. The Tungus domesticated reindeer independently to the east of Lake Baikal. In this way, the herding of reindeer started in many places at the same time. Whatever the debate is, the domination of a reindeer was conducted by a reindeer revolution that spread all around the world, north, east, and west. If you always enjoy our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have heard many times, reindeer are better than people. Don't be surprised, guys, as they are friendly. It is considered that they are not dangerous to humans. Instead of being harmful, they are usually hunted for many purposes such as fur, meat, milk, transportation, etc. However, they could be very harmful in the autumn season, especially if they gather as a herd or flock. The Sami people lived and worked in Sidat. It was a group that herded reindeer to fulfill their needs. The ancient Sami community system was known as Sida. This could be defined as making efforts on partnership. However, people can pay attention individually and help each other in hunting, fishing, or the management of herding reindeer. Those Sida could contain large families and their flocks. Wild reindeer live in the Arctic tundra and damp forests of Greenland and Scandinavia, Russia, Alaska, and Canada. They are commonly known as caribou. They are species of deer. Moreover, they are the only species in which both have antlers, whether it's a male or female. In fact, the male's horns can grow up to 1.4 meters in length. Whoops! Wild reindeer can live 15 years, although the domesticated ones could live long till 20 years. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the four states Russia, Finland, Sweden, and Norway divided their traditional reindeer husbandry. They lead the traditional way far away and introduced this herding in other regions too. Reindeer herding is identified by large flocks and a high degree of automation in all areas in Norway and Sweden. The primary purpose of their herding is to get meat. However, they get many other materials for their handicrafts and cloth making such as skin, horns and bones. The contribution of young people in there is hurdled by judicial acts and less number of pasture lands. Additionally, the economic resources also hindered the development of the industry. Norway has six pasture territories and they are divided into 77 grazing land. Anyhow, only ethnic semi has the right to reindeer farming in this area. The reindeer reproduces the bread in southern Norway in special privileged areas. There are almost 200,000 reindeer in Norway as once they are calculated after so much slaughtering and after once they are free of giving birth in May. It in 1990, there were 242,000 reindeer in Norway and 241,000 in 2007. The reason for these fluctuating numbers of reindeer was difficult climatic situations, severe winter conditions, less grazing lands, and high hunting levels. Modern herders have to work really hard to adapt to a wide variety of changes in both the local and national economy. In terms of duty, reindeer herding can be seen as a for-profit business. 
Despite the other facts for a reindeer shepherd, a common assessment form is just like an entrepreneur. Reindeer Shepherd can get not only financial support, but meat, milk, bones, skin, and all other materials to increase their income resources. Since 1976, Norway has had an agreement for reindeer husbandry. This agreement reflects the political objectives and guidance for reindeer farming. In Sweden, the reindeer farming area spreads from the border with Finland to the province of Dalarna. This area is about 226,000 kilometers, which is about 55% of Sweden. If we consider the numbers from 2005, it is about 77% of the country's reindeer are owned by men. In a concession village, a reindeer owner cannot have more than 30 reindeer. They marked every reindeer on the ear. Those earmarks reflect the number of how many reindeer one owner has. There are 20 approved cuts and additionally 30 more different combinations of cuts. All of these cuts and combinations have their own details and names. In Finland, there are 56 districts, 41 of which are in the same province of Lapland and the rest, 15, are in the province of Ulu. There are 13 of the districts are so-called Sami districts. All of these districts have limited their boundaries. They vary according to the sizes and numbers of reindeer in the area. Reindeer in Finland are in addition to meat production. They are also precious resources for winter and summer tourism as they attract tourists. While in Russia, the area of Kolasami turns into a new transformation with the arrival of 65 Komi reindeer shepherds with their 600 animals. Their casual farming depended on semi-grazing and was transformed into a high-class herd with more productivity. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, reindeer farming was ignored. Anyhow, nowadays in Russia, about 1,555,300 reindeer grassy land to fulfill their nutrition need. The ratio of private property and reindeer farming in the last decade has grown magnificently. Summer grazing lands are situated in watersheds, while river basins are used in the winter season. I hope now you would love reindeer more than ever. If you liked the video, don't forget to share it with friends and give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.